Hello students, today I am going to teach the topic open source tools for research. Let's proceed with this open source tools for research. As we know, research is the very broad and biggest area nowadays where different category of research will come whether it's an qualitative research whether it's an quantitative research whether it's an applied research in this various category if there is a any kind of fact finding techniques has been used definitely every researcher has to do analysis of their research or any other analysis related operations in a standard manner there are number of analytics or research analysis tools and softwares are available like an SPSS, like an MATLAB, even if now Microsoft Office 365 is providing a research analytics tools included in their Office OpenSUIT. As these are the various tools like an SPSS, MATLAB or Office 365. These are paid software or paid research tools where you require to buy the copy of SPSS, MATLAB or Office 365. Then and then it will do the analysis of your data. With this analysis, whichever tests are required in terms of research whether it's an alpha test beta test and testing of the hypothesis that is possible and number of times it happens economically these research tools are not feasible for the researchers that time what is the option so this is a big question for that we have solution in terms of open source support for a cloud so there are number of open source tools available in the area of research or for the research sector the recent efforts to design and develop cloud technologies focuses on defining novel methods policies and mechanisms for efficiently managing cloud infrastructures to test these newly developed methods and policies researchers needs tools particularly simulators that allow them to evaluate the hypothesis prior to rear deployment in an environment where one can reproduce test simulation based approaches in evaluating cloud computing systems and application behaviors that offers significant benefits as allow cloud developers for to test performance of their provisioning and service delivery policies in a repeatable and controllable environment free of cost and to tune the performance bottlenecks before real-time 
और रियल वर्ल्ड डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑन कमर्शियल क्लाउड्स देर आर नंबर ऑफ रिसर्च बेस टूल्स विच आर अवेलेबल इन द ओपन सोर्स एनवायरमेंट एज देर इज वन थिंग इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज वॉट टेस्टिंग ऑफ द हाइपोथिस एंड विच इज द वन ऑफ द मेजर गोल फॉर एवरी रिसर्चर इन हिज रिसर्च बिकॉज एट द स्टार्ट of the research every researcher has to set the hypothesis and at the end of the research he or she want to test that hypothesis whether which one is accepted or which one is rejected and for testing such a hypothesis every researcher required a huge amount of data which it's collected from different research methods as in survey questionnaire or in terms of some primary or secondary data once data has gathered then how to scrutinize how to refine the data so for refining and doing analysis of such a data these research based tools are used it is also called research analysis tools and because of such a tools it is very easier to depict to interpret the result with the help of hypothesis testing as in a open source environment for a research there are tools available which you can say it's an freeware tools which is available in open source it's a first tool we'll study as cloud sim as cloud sim is a toolkit designed for creating a simulation environment for working in cloud as a completely customizable tool so cloud sim allows extension and definition of policies in all the components of the software stack which makes it suitable as a research tool that can handle the complexities arising from simulated environment as there are various layers in this cloud sim architectures every layers will work for their own functionality like an user interface cloud services resources then mapping of the user code to simulation environment is also possible in this cloud sim open source tool which is used for the research in the cloud so that is environment or architecture which consist of user code with this grid sim with this sim java and cloud sim that is the main component under this it is provisioning for cloud services like an virtual machine provisioning cpu allocation memory allocation and storage allocation with bandwidth allocation as a user code point of view in the cloud sim it providing simulation specification like an cloud based scenario user requirements or any application configuration with the help of user or a data center broker in terms of grid sim which is a one of the part of cloud sim architecture which provides different grid services like an data set reservation grid information service replica catalog resource allocation replica manager and workload traces also it provides core element like an resource traffic generate and network 
with the same java which is a part of this cloud sim which provides different discrete event simulations like event handling simulation entities timing this sim map is one of the alternative for cloud sim so this is all about cloud sim which is a open source tools for a research let's talk about another open source tools for a research as a sim map reduce sim map reduce is a simulator designed to flexible toolkit and it's convenient to inherit or be inherited by other packages sim map reduce makes an effort to model a vivid map reduce environment consisting some special feature such as a data locality and dependence between map and reduce it provides essential entity services that can be predefined in xml format that is extended markup language furthermore by using this simulator modelers can realize multi layer scheduling algorithms on user level job level or task level by easily extending preserve classes so sim map reduce is a very useful for analyzing map reduce program in the simulation environment as is used by makim of the user code with the simulation environment so this is a, one of the open source tools for a research as a cloud sim and sim map reduce with this there is another open source tools for a research as a cloud analyst let's talk about this cloud analyst so cloud analyst is a cloud sim based tool developed at the university of melbourne whose goal is to support evolution of social network tools according to geographic distribution of user and data centers in this tools communities of users and data centers supporting the social networks are the characterized based on their location parameters such as user experience while using the social network application and load on the data center are obtained or logged as a cloud analyst tool the architecture consists of user definition sim map produce grid sim and sim java as user definition it support scenario description like an node configuration data storage master scheduler user or job configuration as the architecture of this cloud analyst also support for sim map reduce with grid entity simulation that is a grid sim and discrete event simulation so we can say that it is a much more higher than cloud sim and sim map reduce because it is a four layer architecture from this sim map reduce as it is an cloud analyst tool which is open source which is available to the user in front of well defined gui then cloud sim extension and cloud sim toolkits so this is all about the cloud analyst which is a open source tools for research let's talk about one more tool that is called as a green cloud 
Now, what is this green cloud? Green cloud is a sophisticated packet level simulator for energy aware cloud computing data center with a focus on cloud communications. It offers a detailed fine grained modeling of the energy consumed by the data center IT equipment such as computing servers, network switches and communication links. Green cloud can be used to develop novel solution in the monitoring, resource allocation, workload scheduling as well as optimization of communication protocols and network infrastructures. It can simulate existing data centers, guide capacity extension decisions, as well as help design future data center facilities. With this, Green Crowd released under the General Public License Agreement, which is very much important, and is an extension of the well-known NS2 network simulator. About 80% of the green cloud code is implemented in a C++ environment while the remaining 20% is in the form of tool command line language that is called as a TCL script. As the architecture point of view of the green cloud simulator it presents the structure of the green cloud extension mapped into three tier data center architecture which consists of cloud user which consists of core network aggregation network and access network actually the core network aggregation network and access network which is a important layer of the data center and this green cloud is directly dealing with this different layer as it support to the task scheduler as well as different data center characteristics as a task scheduler there is a task com agent which is a part of this green cloud with the computing server the green cloud perform server energy model scheduler and server characteristics the architecture of this green cloud simulator is a packet level simulator of energy aware cloud computing data center and these various open source tools are the backbone for the researcher for doing their research analysis. Then the applied research, the various open source tools like in Cloud Sim, Sim Map Reduce, Cloud Analyst, and Green Cloud, which performing very important role to achieve or to testing the hypothesis. As the applied research is totally based on technological aspects. So, in which technology the researcher is doing their research, they can use such kind of tool rather than using license copy of the tools like an SPSS and MATLAB. In such tools, these SPSS or MATLAB, the researcher has to learn that application separately because everywhere their interface are different and they need to write the scripting also but these open source tools like an cloud analyst or green cloud their interface are easily adaptable and easily understood for the researcher and they can properly implement for doing their research analysis so this is all about open source tools 
for the research which is available on a cloud which support for the cloud thank you